Oh, hi Bella. I'm doing fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Oh, between the black and the red dress. Oh, personally, I prefer you to wear the red dress. The color complements your skin tone, and after all, red is your favorite color. Oh, you're going to look amazing in it. Trust me. Oh no, definitely, definitely not. Not the blue flowery dress. That's more suitable for a tea party. Ah, uh, okay, my pleasure, and have fun tonight. Do tell me all about it soon, all right? Okay, bye bye. <laughs> oh, hi there. Sorry about that. That was my best friend Bella. Uh, she has a dinner plan tonight, so she called to ask me to help her choose which dress she should wear. I chose the red one for her because I personally feel that she is going to look amazing in it, and she happily agreed. Well, I am sure you and your friends do that all the time too, asking for each other's advice and opinions. And we too always share our personal opinions on how we feel about the matter. Not only that, sometimes we are able to agree on things, but there are times when we don't see eye to eye with each other. But that's okay. We should always practice this. Agree to disagree. And what is important, no matter what your opinion is, always remember to respond in a polite manner, okay? I am sure by now, some of you could figure out the topic of our lesson today. Yes, you're right. We're going to learn how to express ourselves when giving opinions, agreeing or disagreeing politely. Why is it important to be polite? Well, if you are polite, people tend to listen and take your arguments, ideas, or opinions seriously. Okay, back to our lesson now. These can help to express yourself better. And using them can help you to have an effective discussion by agreeing or disagreeing in a polite manner so that you can reach an agreement. Here, there are three columns with three different headings. First, giving opinion. Second, agreeing. Third, disagreeing. This is what you are going to do now. You are going to choose the expressions and match them to three columns according to headings. Take some time to do that. So, how did you do? Did you manage to get the expressions into their respective columns? Come, let's check your answers. Do you get to match all the expressions correctly? Well done! Huh? No? Got a few mistakes? It's okay, no worries. Let's practice some more. Okay, 
I'll give you a few situations and then you decide which is the answer, okay? Situation 1 Your father asks How about getting pizza tonight? You think it's a good idea So you would say Yes! The answer is I agree with you. Or, sure, that is a good idea. Situation 2. Your cousin suggests, let's go out tonight. But you don't think it's a good idea. So what do you say? Correct! The answer could be, I don't think that's a good idea. Situation 3. You and your brother want to buy a birthday present for your mother. You suggest buying a handbag of her favorite brand. Then ask your brother, Yes, it could be. Do you agree? Situation 4. Your classmate is talking about a Korean drama you both watched and says it was fantastic. You agreed and say... Yes, you could say, I absolutely agree. Situation 5. It is a fact that you and your friend will never agree about which football team is the best. So, you could even say, Let's agree to disagree. Oh wow, that was fun, wasn't it? And it definitely doesn't end there. Let's listen to this conversation between two colleagues. They are trying to figure out how to keep a valuable staff from resigning and start working at a new company. Well, Darwish must be one hard-working staff. That's why his boss is reluctant to let him go. Good for you, Darwish. Do you remember some of the important parts of the conversation just now? Let me read them to you. Listen to them again.
Now, let's check our answers. The first conversation is about asking for opinion. The second conversation is giving opinion. In this conversation, the boss is disagreeing with her staff. The last part is about the staff who is partly agreeing with the boss. Has this task helped you understand this lesson better? I surely hope so. I'm very sure you're getting more confident in expressing yourself after all the activities we did just now. Just to share with you, I once came across an interesting question on the internet and I had decided to ask a few teenagers about it. Do you think keeping fit is important? How do you do that at home? And here are some examples of the answer. Did you enjoy listening to their remarks? Such interesting answers they have, right? Did you notice that when the three of them shared their opinions, they provided explanation for them? This is actually a very effective method to practice. 
stating reasons and examples would be a great help to let others understand what you mean and justify your answers. Remember my best friend Bella and her dress? Thankfully, helping her choose which dress to wear was pretty quick and easy because she agreed with my choice too. And like I said it would, Bella looked gorgeous in that red dress. But there are times when coming to an agreement is a lot tougher than that. It takes more time. You spend longer considering the matter from many points of view and from different angles before the best decision could be made. Just like Yuli and Arman. Yuli wants to take up a new sport to get fit and meet new people, but she hasn't got much time to do that. So, she and her friend talk about the different activities she could do.
So, you see, sometimes when sharing opinions, you will need to point out what you agree with and the ideas that you disagree about before the best decision can be made. Finally, Yuli is going to start running to help her kid feed. And most importantly, even though she did disagree with one of Arman's idea, she said so politely. She did not belittle Arman or make fun of him. So Arman was not discouraged and kept on giving other sports option to help Yuli until she finally decided to take up running. and they both parted happily at the end of the discussion. Let us go through what we have learned today. We understand by now that in order to express opinions, it is important that we do it politely. No matter whether we agree or disagree with the other speaker. And why is that? Because if you are polite, people tend to listen and take your arguments, ideas and opinion seriously. And yes, they may even change their own behaviour and do what you'd like them to do. To those sitting for speaking tests, this is a good advice for you. When discussing with your partner, remember it is okay to disagree and provide your own opinion. If your partner says something which you don't agree with, politely say why you don't agree and suggest something different. When giving opinions too, it would be more effective to provide explanation for your answers. Stating reasons and examples would be a great way to let others understand what you mean. And Kara, Ashley and Nabil gave us good examples of that with their answers regarding keeping fit and how do they do that at home. Hmm, what else have we learned? Oh yes, I also shared with you a few useful expressions that you can use to express yourself better. And these expressions too can help you to have an effective discussion by agreeing or disagreeing in a polite manner so that you can reach an agreement. I hope you have copied them for your future reference. Let's try a few more before we wrap up today's lesson. You can use the expressions we have learned to answer these at home. English is easy to learn. Global warming isn't real. Travelling by plane is faster than train. We should look after our parents when they are old. Women are better at teaching than men. Now, what do you have to say about this opinion by my friend Kara? I would rather find a job in my own country as I wouldn't face any language barrier. Secondly, I love local food and we have 24 hours restaurants operating every day. Finally, I would get super homesick if I went overseas. 
What about your opinion? Would you prefer to find a job in your own country or a different country? I hope you have benefited from our lesson. Please remember, be polite no matter what our opinions are. If there is difference in opinions, treat that as a learning opportunity. Stay safe and stay happy. Bye-bye!